my second solo bike camp, now sporting a more bikepacking rear setup. Let us see if it holds well on this solo trip. This is the last minute change of destination, originally scheduled to bike north. I'm off to the south again, in Magdalena, Laguna, a place called H&B Nature Camp. Pace started slow, since my rear setup is quite new, I also had to squeeze through my sleeping pad on the saddlebag strap. Nalalaglag pag matindi yung tagtag. I also brought a temporary frame bag. We'll be having a custom one to fit the whole frame in the future. Being a newbie in bike packing and bike touring is not for the faint of heart. Packing all the stuff you need or you think you need trying to fit in the stuff to the bag you chose and adjusting to make use of all the space. Also, if budget or time won't permit additional bag or harness, you just need to improvise, like the elastic cord I always put for my tent in the handlebar. The worst part of this learning process is learning that you really need to buy more expensive stuff just to save space and weight. This is so you can pedal more efficiently, especially on gloomingly climbs and distances if needed to. This big saddlebag without a carrier is lighter to the feet. But on a solo camp, having a lot of stuff, cookware and other sleeping materials, a panier would still be safer for the heavier load. talaga pero kahit dito sa bago magbay traffic na rin there are multiple routes to get to H&B from the national road you can turn right in Itik Park Victoria and climb Nagkarla second is turning right on Pila Kalumpang Road and lastly a more direct approach is through Santa Cruz turning left near Jollibee Pagsanhan area this was my first choice, but decided to go through Pila para madaanan ng kaunti yung Liliw town proper. Ang talimita na dito sa kanan. 
managkarlan pero ang titipit tayo sa ahon medyo mga ahon dyan kasi medyo mabigat yung dala natin kaya <laughs> dito tayo sa kabila so dito tayo dumaan sa pila kalumpang road kanan tayo dito dito tayo dun puro ni Sir Derrick o oh, pagka may brutal na ako dito budol <laughs> thank you <laughs> yung aso wag na ahon wag lang asong ganyan talaga yung kapal ah, parang masarap dito mainit na kasi oh, yung mga gantong side street yan oh puno sarap saka uh, hindi malalaki yung sasakyan saka hindi ganun marami sasakyan medyo imamax lang natin ang konti pansol may pansol din pala dito sa Pila Laguna ano, parangay pansol kanina traffic sa pansol
H&B Nature Farm or Hogs and Barn Nature Farm is in Magdalena, Laguna. Actually, when you look at the map, it's already part of Liliu, Laguna border. <laughs> Nandiyan tayo sa H&B Hogs and Barn Nature Site Nature Farm <laughs> Nature Camp Diyan Yan naman yan In Reception Vegetable Farm Sa Dinner Shop Bonfire Area Glamp Site Fish Farm Ito yung entrance na Dito track kayo ng 10 to 15 minutes sasakyan kayo may mga parking nga naman dun sa harap may kalsada so virtual tour muna tayo so di itong area na to maraming puno if gusto nyo mag hamok camping yan katulad ko nagbabike tapos gusto nyo ng light pack hamok lang dali nyo mosquito net saka tarp para in case umulan pwede dito pwede dito sa area na to CR yan Kumo na yan May showeran sa gilid Nandiyan yung panlaki pang babae Ito sa kabilang side Hugasan So kung may mga utensils kayo Hindi kayo mahirapan maghugas Dala na lang kayo ng sponge <laughs> Dito tayo Sa main uh, Flat space Pwede mag camp mga tao Please mga tipi dyan na uh, ukuan, may ilaw daw yan sa gabi Kaya maganda tumabi dyan So mayroon ang mga camper dito Ako, nandun ako sa may riverside Hehehe <laughs> Kunti lang yung nakapaganda dyan, buti nakakuha pa ako ng spot Pero open naman yung spaces na yan dito may bandal likod ng reception ito yung pwede ka umorder ng food yata dito yuk tumamay pwede tumamay dala ako hindi kayo murder dito ah no ito sila sa kape ah 
Mayroon dining spot kung tabi ng Riverside yan. Pavilion pala yan. Pavilion yan. Ayan na yung tumambay, tumain. Ito yung reception area. Sa tabi niya, may sari-sari store. Ayan. Hindi kayo magugutom. Ayan, sari-sari store dito. Alcoholic drinks pa nga eh. Ayan. <laughs> Ito pa si brother sa Ito Ito na ako pong nais ka sa Rated Site O diba? Diretso o ligo na O gising Meron pong area doon ang flat space Meron pong pwedeng kampan doon O ito O lang ano At may mga kapitbahay Ayos lang Ayun yung hugasan Dish washing area May sabon pa nga May nakalitang bumili May nga toilets Importante yan Ang family Ito ang area na to Fish pond Pag tinawid mo to Yan yung river na yan Yan na yung mga glamping Huts Pero yan yan yung glamping ating kabiyon doon tayo sa may bridge <laughs> fish pond dito hindi pa na masyadong gumagalap yung tubig kaya ito yung fish pond para dun sa mga hindi sanay matulog sa tent o nahihirapan matulog sa tent sa tabi pa ng river ang ganda rin may ihawan pa ang gano'n pwede naman na meron ng mga ihawan tsaka tables and chairs may bayad siyempre pwede din yung tingnan nyo sa facebook pati yung mga menu for the food pwede nyo makikita na Kenon. Hmm. Ah, mga glamping sila, mga family. Ano? Ganda dito. A mix of nature and hindi masyadong ano, kung hindi kayo masyadong into hardcore nature trekking may mga tindahan, may siya may glamping spot hindi mga may nangyong ko the day went by a little slow cooked some quick meal got to talk to some of the campers about camping their next adventure and the life we took a break from before we get there. Got to talk to Sir John Carl, the owner of the camp. How they started out late last year, renovated a private property to share to the public.
not much socials during the night for me and my neighbors since it was Holy Thursday. Next day, coffee is first on the list. Quick dip and prepare for the long and hot ride back. Every camp has a different experience, has a different story to tell. There are still many places to go, but each journey, ride, and camp is one of a kind. Mm -hmm. I was in nature here. 